sorry. We got some kind of exercise just started. It's got the whole base turned upside down. Captain, real pleasure to meet you. My mom said my dad always spoke very highly of you. He was the best bombardier I ever saw. Don't think he ever missed. He's a good friend of mine. How's your mother doing? She's doing fine. Good. You speak to her, let her know I sent my best. Sure will. You gonna join the service like your dad? I might, sir. It's a good life. Well, you said on the phone there was something I could help you with. Flying saucers. <laughs> I'm sorry. My father and I have both seen them. We've both been inside them. You've both seen them? record for you then. Good evening, my fellow citizens. This government, as promised, has maintained the closest surveillance of the Soviet military buildup on the island of Cuba. Within the past week, unmistakable evidence has established the fact that a series of offensive missile sites is now in preparation on that imprisoned island. The purpose of these bases can be none other than to provide a nuclear strike capability against the Western Man. Hemisphere. Upon receiving the first preliminary hard information of this nation, I want you to put me in touch with whoever runs the UFO program. At 9 a.m. I directed that our We're in the middle of a crisis here, if you, in case you hadn't heard. We now confirmed and completed our evaluation of the evidence. There is no UFO program that's run by the United States Air Force or any other branch of the government. I don't believe that. You're going to have to go now. I'll call someone to have you escorted off the base. My father's in your hospital. He has something in his brain. The doctor says it's a tumor they can't operate on. Very sorry to hear that. I have an identical tumor in my own head. I believe these tumors are put there. Put there by whoever comes with those unidentified flying objects, United States Air Force, or any other branch the government knows nothing about. My father's fought together. That has to count for something. I don't expect you to believe me. I expect you to help me. I gave you this name, I'll deny it. This guy's a colonel at Groom Lake, in Las Vegas. Thanks. And we hope around the world. God willing, that goal will be achieved. Thank you, and good night. 